the most important line in the stock market today is the bond market about to crash as you can see here today the 10-year yield known as the risk-free rate is up to 2.82 percent its highest point since december 2018 we are due some inflation numbers out here pretty soon and it looks as though it's going to be above 8.4 percent federal reserve almost certainly are going to be raising rates a number of times further this year so as we mentioned on the last video on bitcoin we gave a small teaser here this really is the most important line in the stock market today over the, the last two years we have been very bullish on yields and very bearish on bonds the 60 40 split clearly hasn't worked and it hasn't worked for some time essentially a 40 year bull market in bonds is over and it has been over for quite some time this is the logarithmic scale trend line going as far back as 1980 okay the interest rate generally has been rising which has propped up stock market as well as real estate now we're in a situation where stock market valuations are very high real estate valuations are, are very high and the 10-year yield is increasing the 30-year fixed rate mortgage in the us right now is 4.72 clearly w you know one or two things have to give here break of this line could it cause wider contagion which spreads alongside the rest off the stock market i mean 2.82 percent it really is pushing on levels that we haven't seen for quite some time so let's investigate this a little little bit further by looking at the elliott wave count so our count from the lows was that we were not really believing this to be a counter wave correction we were looking at this as a clear impulsive sequence that would be the one that would be the two that would be the three that would be the four and as you can see we have broken this trend line pretty much as we speak that would be part of a larger wave one this wave five can also be broken down into five smaller subdivisions of one two three four five so let's call this the larger five let's put that in red make sure that that's a higher degree let's make that intermediate degree and this would be the lower degree let's pop that in blue so we believe that yields after having broken this line and more than likely trapped everyone to the upside really the momentum is waning it's like running a marathon and you know doing your whole 26 miles and just when you've finished you've been asked to run another marathon it's just impossible i think for this line to break right here right now i think this is a bit of a bull trap it was always going to hit this line and eventually this line is going to break and more than likely it will take down the stock market with it bonds as far as i'm concerned are now severely undervalued and i am expecting a pullback in yields all the way back down to i would say sub two percent so to me i'm actually looking at this as a bit of a bull trap and i would say there's a high probability yields now make their way into this area here the other thing which kind of helps to support that is that we are in peak real estate season i really don't think a 4.72 um, 30 year fixed in the us is sustainable that can easily fall back down to four percent okay so often it is the case that the parabolic nature of any asset at any on any time frame is usually the last part of the move so i'm looking for a vicious abc pullback here for the rest of the summer quite possibly until the u.s midterms so that would be part of a larger one into a larger two and then yes eventually this line is going to break and all hell is going to break loose so that would be the large account let's pop that in green so i'm looking at this to have completed the wave one and formed a shakeout pattern those who have taken the master class you understand shakeout patterns can form around horizontal levels it's a confirmation of the trap but they can also form alongside obvious trend lines going back to the analogy of the marathon runner we've just run 26 miles into here right there's no more momentum here to the upside markets don't really move like this what i need is here is an abc correction of some sort could be a wxy could be an inverted head and shoulders essentially this market now needs to correct form a longer term bull flag and that will then set up the cause 
for the eventual break of this line and thus the eventual debt bubble collapse because we have been working the idea since well since the covid lows really that 2000 was a stock market crash 2008 was a property fuel crash this very much clearly in my eyes is a bond market collapse and this is the biggest market of them all if you were to have a look at numbers Roughly speaking, the bond market in the US is $150 trillion. Stock market, call it 80. Real estate, let's say 50. Gold, about 10. Crypto, I'd say about 2 to $4 bill, uh, trillion. This bubble is the biggest bubble amongst them all, also known as the everything bubble. And really, this, this really makes you doubt long term about the state of fiat currency as we know it. Because if it takes the debt bubble with it, it will cause a huge dollar rise here short term. I mean, dollars above 100. I mean, I can see it going to 110 pretty easy. Then eventually the dollar collapses, the bond market collapses, and then we essentially finally have that reset. So just to summarize then, we are looking at this short term as a bit of a short term um, bull market. Well, a short term bullish uh, trap basically it's a bull trap in yields i'm expecting yields to pull back here for most of the summer then consolidate quietly underneath this line and then we have um the big move up okay just to take some absolutely basic fibonacci here you know I mean, we have some very, very high numbers there. I mean, you're looking well above 8% and you have to really zoom out on the yearly chart here to find any evidence of real resistance here. I mean, if we take a 50% fib of the entire move, you know, you're looking at, I mean, well, we're already at the 50, but if you take it from here, 3.8%, you know, 5%, you know, there's, there's a lot of resistance here. This was a very, very key level, I would say. So to me... Um, eventually this 10 year yield is going to easily hit 5% but short term here we need to um, correct and bring down yields so that should spark a small bid in the 20 year note which is basically TLT. This also as you can see is probably here forming I would say a bear trap. So the way I'm reading this is that there's no doubt longer term Bonds are definitely going to go down and I mean very, very bearish on bonds. Here, the count is just the opposite. One, two, three, four, five, make a larger one. Counter wave correction and then, ev then eventually you're going to get the big almighty collapse. But to be honest, it's already been collapsing and it's been quite, um, and it's been doing that for the last two years. So that's a strong level there. There's also some levels uh, here. I would say this one there is a good level too. So let's have a look here short term the stock market as of right now hasn't opened yet but to me that is very very undervalued and i can actually count five waves into here one two three four five so expect a bit of a pullback in the tlt here um as in a counter wave correction some kind of a wave i could easily see by midsummer this reaching above 140 maybe even 150 um going into the mid to late summer and then it eventually then then you know the stock market is going to reach more of a um euphoric peak by that stage nasdaq we've always had a bit of a 50 50 on but certainly a dropping 10-year yield will actually help nasdaq stocks going into earnings but it's really the s p which is the benchmark which i do believe is still set to make all-time new highs it's not very nice the count it's becoming a bit messy but it could still happen especially if we get a huge rise or a huge move back into bonds given the fact that they're very oversold ultimately i'm just looking at this as a counter wave correction so it is very much a counter trend investment here or a um, trade and then that should bring us back down um, um, in the TLT and eventually we're looking at this to move um, back to 2% form the cause and then as we know effect is proportional to the cause which precedes it so some kind of inverted head and shoulders some kind of ABC um, I'm looking at these headlines and basically we're looking at doing the opposite as you can see consumer prices there rose 8.5 percent almost certainly they're going to be raising interest rates again um, probably 50 basis points um, so um, it's a very a unique situation that we find ourselves in in the last 40 years 
we've only ever been used to a bond market um um a bull market basically we, it's a bull market in the bond market but now we have a very very vicious bear market five wave impulse implies only two things either we're dealing with a wave one or a wave a either way looking for a counter wave correction then we're looking to go higher i can easily see in the coming years this yield breaking well above five to seven percent and if you have a look at the italian yield and the uk yield i mean the uk is pretty interesting i think it can probably eventually fill the gap we're at 1.8 here um there is a gap on the uk yield here um all the way at nine percent so you know even the uk yield is it's 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 really ran quite heavily here and um you know it's it's it kind of needs to pull back somewhat um, it kind of needs to pull back somewhat. I, I can't imagine this immediately going to that gap at 9.6%, which we haven't seen since 1990. But the cost of a property back then was about 5p. Right now, the cost of that same property is more like, you know, £300,000, right? So we have a very unique situation. Inflated property prices and rising interest rates is basically not going to end very well. Um, and the US mortgage rate, you know, I am expecting this to pull back. It's 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 really quite elevated here. Um, you know, no market in the world moves like this. Um, where is the mortgage rate? Uh, I believe it's here. Yeah, I mean, no market in the move can, you know, moves like this, right? So this you can easily read as a one, two, one, two, three, four, five. It's probably finished some kind of four. So I would say going into peak real estate season, I can easily see a situation where this pulls back to this pivot level here at 4%, forms a bit of a cause. As we go into August, September, before the US midterms, we eventually go higher again and ultimately, However way you look at this, that line is eventually going to break. And when that line breaks, all hell is going to break loose. So that is the summary for the most important line in the stock market. That's my take. If you like what we're doing here, please do like, share and subscribe. Have a look at the educational courses and um, the fake the Facebook group if you would like me to, if you would like to and follow me on uh, Twitter as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.